Hey, hey guys, Harlequin here, and in lieu of the vlog video schedule thingy, do tra tra channel trailer, tra words hard, ow, in lieu of the video that was uploaded before this one, we are going to be playing Ginny LeClue Detective View, the General Professor Zazer playable teaser. This is a game that I saw coming out soon on Steam, and it caught my eye, it looks really interesting. So I saw that they have a demo slash trailer, and it's kind of something just to get into the, only want to say the atmosphere of the game, so to speak. So that's what we're going to do. The sound is super low. Okay, let's go to new game. Hopefully the sound doesn't stay that low. Oh, interact, QE to zoom, rotate, I inventory, WAS does move, arrows select item. Press interact to continue. Please wear headphones. I got them on. This is a playable teaser. A taste of the atmosphere of Jenny LeClue. Episode 1 will feature a fully voiced cast of characters and a whole world to explore. So join Jenny on a mini adventure and unlock the secrets within. Oh, I got my trusty finger. Ooh, there we go. Chapter 13 Breaking and Entering. Oh gosh. Can I not? Okay, well. Oh, I can move all the way. The trail led her here. Where once she was greeted with open arms. Now only a locked door. Uh oh. What? Now, now I gotta. Oh gosh. Alright. Uh. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Lock picking skills plus 15. The house reeked of mothballs and damned fur, just as she remembered. It must be here somewhere, she thought. And so she entered. Look, devs, if you're watching this, don't get mad at me. I'm waiting for the voice actors, I promise. <laughs> Alright. Study. Someone's house. Oh, we don't know who's. I'm going to be sneaky about this, though. Shh, quiet. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting clues. Alright. So let's move sneakily to the house. What are we going to look for? Anything? Can I click on anything? There's a radio. Do I want to click on that? It looks like it would make noise. Okay, interact with this. I can't. A lot of noise. What is that? Uh oh. Oh my god. Is that you, General Clue? God, someone just came home and got right to work. That was it. I forgot to put the the at the beginning of that sentence again. Ah, let me come home and put it back down. Oh man, what did he write? Does he know we're here? Can we look over here first? No, it doesn't look like there's anything we do over here. Alright, let's go back over here. Let the finger lead the way. Ooh. Rain. Rain always gets me. I'm one of those guys that when it comes to rain, I'm a big wuss. He typed something on that paper, but I can't read it in the dark. Well, let's shed some light. Bum, bum, bum. It's Jenny LeClue. All right. It smells of fresh ink and cigar smoke. Okay. Uh, he was only in there for a few seconds. Being careful not to disturb anything on the desk, Jenny read the note. Oh, it's an elderly man. Gloria, please do not read or move the books when cleaning my study. Thank you, Mr. S. Oh, interesting. Oh, I cannot wait to hear the voice actors. I apologize so much. What's up here? 
I don't recognize the person in these photos. I wonder who she is. I wonder too. Is the same thing? The wall was lined with medals and awards. A revolver case in glass hung on the wall, polished but showing its age. Is that it? Okay, that's it. A chair. Wait. The chair smelled of worn leather. There remained a fresh indention in the seat. Can we make a new one? Let's we'll sit our fanny in that seat and make a new indention. He could be back any minute. You should still try. Alright, well. We're obviously not doing anything else here. Can we check the drawers? Drawers? No? Can I check the fan? Turn on the fan. No. What about that? Wait, wait. Wait, wait. There's a thing. Water is leaking in through the window. There's a stain along the floor that runs to the bookcase. Oh, man. So many medals and awards. Are these all for the same person? Honorable Field Medal. Moxman Award. Second Prize Ob Arthuration Brownie Bake Off? Ooh, that's the most... That's the most... Honorable award. Words are hard. Anyways. Bookshelf. Man. Secret bookshelf. What was playing on the radio before? It sounded strange. Like a coded message. Jenny was curious, but she couldn't risk being caught and left it alone. I'm trying to get better at this, I promise. Okay. Dun dun dun! Did I imagine that? Do it again. Dun! Definitely seemed real. Not doing that again. <laughs> She's great. What a strange and dangerous decision to turn on the radio. She thought to herself. Did I? Luckily, just then, the batteries died. Great, it's more suspicious. That was close. Definitely not what I heard before. No, we're just full of great ideas. Woo, turn that back off. Hmm, let's see. Holy gosh. 16 flutes, 3 tumblers, half a bottle of scotch, and a meticulously cleaned and arranged. All. Wait a second! Dun -dun 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 -dun. That bottle is dusty. Like it hasn't been moved in years. But why? There's a piece of paper behind the bottle. A new clue! Jan, one, two, please destroy after. Okay. Looks like a, yeah, something. I don't know. It's a clue. Found one of five clues. All oh, men. We're we're already doing this, guys. Oh oh oh. Oh gosh. There it was, just as it had been described to her. A silver flashlight with a bronze trim. You found the flashlight. There was an inscription on the bottom. To my handsome prince, always find your way home. This is it! I knew I'd find it here! It's risky, but now that I have the flashlight, I could find out why he's so protective of his books. Oh man, Ginny. Anything else here we can find? Turn the light. That's strangely satisfying. Oh, I know, right? Click, 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 click. I'm waiting for like a clue to fall out. Alright, one more once over, just to be sure. Any clues? Any oh, wait, wait. The storm raged outside. I think I'd be safer out there than in here. Yeah, I mean, you're breaking and entering, and this guy has a marksman and a bake-off award. He's gonna put you in a pie. You need to not get caught. Alright, let's get to the bookshelf. Huh. Suspense. Oh, gosh. Ah, books! Hundreds and hundreds of books! There's nothing like losing yourself in a good book or three. I'm kind of in a hurry here. I don't have time to read them all. What is it Mom always says? Eliminate the noise, focus on the details, and the truth will reveal itself. Is... 
is much better. Let's find out what he's hiding in these books. I think I'll start with that one. Is your mom into Sherlock Holmes? Because that's what it sounds like. Arthurotinian Museum. Recent. Um, I don't know. Whatever. Someone else better than me can read that. Lucinia Pearl. The latest and grandest installation in the Euron Unnatural History Wing is a ghost ship. Believed to be the ill-fated Lucinia Pearl. Recent acquisitions. Hall of Natural Study. Okay. Lucinia Pearl, gift of the gift of Leila P. Saperstein and Martin Rankler, date unknown. When the merchant sent Lucinia Pearl set sail on November twenty seventh, I assume nineteen seventy two. It looks like a two, so I'm gonna say twenty something, nineteen seventy two. All signs pointed to an uneventful journey. However, the ship never arrived at its destination and was presumed lost at sea. The ship was finally discovered years later by the lighthouse keeper on Lake Island Point, shrouded in an eerie green mist. It was completely abandoned, yet still in seaworthy condition, with no evidence of foul play. Most remarkably, it was entirely invisible. Nothing else? Nothing else? No, just that. All the way up now. Oh, next page. What happened aboard the Lucinia Pearl? Over a century later, the scene of pearls still fascinates. Huh? A clue! Bookcase something. Smith said, thank you for your purchase, your something, your secrets. Oh, man. And two of five clues. Nice. Looks like I'm on the right track. These pieces were clearly torn from the same paper. Now to find the rest. Why did his crew and passengers, including Captain Hebert Callsby, his wife, Lana, and their young child simply vanish. That's a weird name for a child, simply vanish. Leaving a ship full of cargo, including enough food and water for several months behind. That was a weird child. How did it become invisible in the naked eye except by the light of a blue moon? Detail of a visible masthead. Visible candles would have lit the crew quarters. Ordnate captain's quarters. Visit the Arthronian Museum and find out for yourself. This fine edition will most likely be viewable at the witching hour upon a clear night with a blue moon when the museum is closed. Great. Exactly what I wanted. Ooh, we can zoom in. Oh, nice. Nice. Zoom in on that. All right. I'll move around the bookcase to find more clues. I can always step back to see the whole bookcase. And I can use my trusty magnifying glass to get a closer look. All right, let's, let's just go to the right. What is this? All right, well, that happened. New Year, same you. Oh, gosh. This book feels like it's attached to some kind of mechanism. Oh. Love in the time of murder. March of the Pigs. Ooh. Hmm, that didn't do anything. Some of these books like they might be connected, but how? All right, let's try that and that. No. That, that, and that. No. There's so many books here, it'd be impossible to guess the order. I bet there are more clues in other books. I got it. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, 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 I got it. Robot death ray from the moon. Min mining in May. Headless summer. Are these all just... Okay. Hey, hey, you never know. Maybe you could read one. That's why I was pulling them out. What? It looks like the owl hand is stuck at 12. Can we can we unstick it? Still 12. I think it's broken. Still 12. I think it's broken. Still 12. I think it's broken. I'm sorry. So beautiful, but such a horrible history. Hey, the globe. Let's give this a spin and find Arthurian on the map. Uh oh. You broke it! Oops. Oh my gosh. Jenny. How could you. Oh, you broke such a thing. Oh. Oh. Hello. We don't. We don't have access to that yet. 
That's a thing. Hey, what is this? Oh, 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 okay. To Arthurton. Arthur Arthurton. Ah! Arthurton. Subject. Investigation of unusual activity and... On June, a GCC representative received an ominous phone call advising that dangerous amounts of had been sighted near as well as upon further investigation discovered that had all right i can't do that for the whole thing most unsettling aspect of the incidents that occurred on the night of was the remaining who were found with only their blank attached but the rest of their and were completely removed from there and seven members of team were questioned at the length regarding their possible involvement with was also apprehended and questioned about the disappearance of upon further examination stated that and signed note referred to cl 13 a and cl 13 b for additional oh there's more oh gosh list of found at a site of dev slash devnal Casey Dennis. I bet these are people who worked over there, ain't it? I don't know, honestly. There's gotta be like Easter eggs, right? Like some of the devs are in here. We're gonna look through everything, guys. Subject update on report incidents at. When asked about the similar incidents and strange occurrences of blink, at the end of last blink and blink, 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 denied any involvement or knowledge of blink. Crucial evidence in the form of Blink and Blink is believed to have been recovered in the Blink and is now being held at Blink and examined by Blink, Blink Recovery Unit. Exact location of suspect Blink remains unknown at this time. Blink, 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 Sign Blink. Note, refer to the documents for this possibility alias for Blink. I also refer to Blink for Blink procedures. Great. Known aliases for Blink. Ooh, Blondie. Ah, it's Blondie. I'm telling you. Blondie's suspicious. So is Revic. That's a suspicious name. Number six. Taiwani? Tawani? Oh, Tawani. I know that. Wait, what? Oh, SX Spawn. I thought that was South by Southwest for some reason. I was like, what? My gosh. My home city is responsible. What is this? 10, 15, 10, 15, 5, 25. What is that supposed to mean? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Can I turn this on? Hmm. Doesn't seem like I can click anything on there. We have a knife. It smells of lemons. Must have been recently cleaned. Ah, makes sense. Whoa. Okay, well, I'm just trying to see if we can read a book. That's all. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Calm down. Gotta catch a ball. <laughs> uh, 10, 15, 5, 25. Oh, what's that? A human skull. That skull has no eyes, but I'm sure it's looking at me. There are too many dead things in this room. I don't want to be one of them. I, I wouldn't want that. Oh, gosh. What if I zoom in on you? Then what, Mr. Owl? Hmm... He reacts to motion. Alright, it goes down whenever. Okay, whatever. Ooh, more. Servoceros no Skull. $13,000. An unusual and exceptionally rare addition to our catalog. The fossilized skull is over a million years old. Oh gosh, that thing. This skull once hung in the bedchamber of the murderous Marquis of Mertini. On Hallow's Eve, GVC, I don't know. He brutally killed his wife, her lover, and her handmaiden. Fire ravaged the Chateau Bernard, 
In the early 19th century, the skull was all that survived. Oh, dang. I w I'm not even going to try. 64,666. Not terrifying at all. An outstanding spiritual relic and one of the few remaining artifacts of the Athrothral tribe. A rather haunting mask with a two-faced spirit creature at the top. The coloring represents the ancestral realm and the enlightenment of communication with the dead. Legends tell of the mask being used in gruesome sacrificial rituals. Supposedly the mask would grant the wearer great healing powers and when thus stimulate simultaneous human sacrifices it was thought to even grant eternal life. The creature at the top was most likely a furry spirit of benevolent, benevolent nature. Most likely. Oh, because it's smiling. Because it got sacrifices. Oh, the owl. Oh, we just saw this thing. Two hundred, whoa, 237,000. Ever watchful, beautifully mounted, and exquisitely preserved. This great horned owl, Bulbul's Venezuelas, dates back to the 19th century. Okay, for, for fun, we'll say to the nth century i don't know rumored to contain a precious stone possessed by the spirit of queen annabeth the second is believed to protect its owner from unwanted guests and spirits eyewitnesses claim to have heard the owl screech in the dead of night there are reports of the owl taking flight this wondrous specimen will certainly turn heads oh so the owl is in on this crap what is this anything quite a collection no wonder everything in here stinks. Oh, I I'm with you. Another thing? Zoom in on it. Anything we can find? Anything? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Okay, great. Wait, did I miss? No. Nothing there. Go down. Oh, save. My lot pick won't work on this. And there's no combination to crack. Can we spin it again? Whee! Whee! Keep spinning it. Maybe it'll open. I don't know. I gave up. Alright. So. Ooh. What is this? Tommy by the Shoah. By Adelaide something fall. <clears throat> High upon the jagged cliffs where the seabirds nest and cold wind towel. There is a boy. Every day he climbs to the peak and surveys the endless sea. Today will be the day he comes home to me. Far below is a cottage by the shore. A mother sets the table for three and sings an old song. Oh, my darling, sail home to me and tell me what wonders you have seen. It's the best you're going to get. As the sun sets and the sky turns red, Tommy starts his long descent home. He swings fearlessly from rock to rock. The sea smashes against the jagged coast below. Finally, his feet fall on the wet ground. He runs homeward, sand squelching between his toes. It's the same every day, except for this day. Tommy st stops in his tracks. Something catches his eye. A thin crevice carved into the ancient cliff face, revealed by the receding tide. Mother always warned him, Be careful, Tommy, for you may be clever, but the sea is more so and full of dangerous secrets. But Tommy's an adventurer, like his father, and those caves are for exploring. Leaning into the pitch black he open, he calls, Hello? Silence. Tommy calls again. Hello? A pause. Then he hears a faint reply from somewhere deep in the cave. And so he slips through the narrow opening. He continues to call to the voice in the cave as he moves further into the darkness. The cave echoes with dripping water and the whipping wind. Deeper, he wades through the brine, until he no longer hears the wind or sea, until all the light is gone, until his calls of hello meet with silence, until way back to the shore, the tide begins to roll in. High upon the jagged cliffs, where seabirds nest and cold winds howl, there's only the endless sea. Far below, in a cottage by the shore, a mother sets the table for two and sings an old song. Oh, my darling, sail home to me and tell me what wonders you have seen. Oh, gosh. This, she lost her husband and her son the same way. A new clue! Bookcase safe. Oh, <gasps> it's a combination of the safe somehow. I don't know, but somehow. Found three of five clues. Great. That's more clues than we had a moment ago. Okay, these open. 
There are so many books here. Well, I'm just seeing if you could read one. I bet there are two. Why can't I zoom in on that? Look closer. Oh, gosh. Uh. Well, the thing's there. That was, that was kind of horrifying. I may have just shook in my chair just a little bit. So you think I'm here to hurt? Hold on. Well, we still have more to explore. Ooh, what is this? A plant. Nothing special. Internal workings and reproduction system of the regional something. Oh gosh. Seeds into a fruit. The rabbit eats the fruit. The rabbit then, oh gosh, the plant grows in the rabbit. The rabbit gets parasitic plant growing out of it. And plant devours the rabbit and grows. Holy gosh. Guys, if you've seen Planet Earth, there's a fungal thing that does this. This is where it came from. Or this is what it's evolved into. Instead of ants, it now kills rabbits. Oh, God. Earth is scary. I wonder if he worked in the mines. Or it's for the secret compartment he has down there. I'm just seeing if you could read them. Don't get so mad at me. Alright, I have something I want to try already. Can I do anything with this? Doesn't look like it. You know what a freak if that one of those things like blinked at me? For some reason that would be terrifying. Alright, so we've checked out mostly everything, it looks like. Oh, there's something there. Okay, no, nothing. Just where my hand is pointing. Alright, so there's something I want to try here. Uh, let's see. Where was uh, where was the jars? Right here, right? Alright. So, here's where we saw 10, 15, 5, 25. So, I'm wondering if it's the counting of the books, right? Okay, yeah, nothing there. Just making sure. So if it's 10, 15, 25, if that's like the orders of these books, then I'm assuming it starts there, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? And then it's 1. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. It wouldn't be that. Uh, it wouldn't be that because... Wait, hold on. Okay, good. I want to make sure. Yeah, because this was actually readable. Yeah, that was readable. So it can't... Oh, whoops. Whoa, it flashed for me. Alright, so it wouldn't be this. Because that was readable. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, gosh. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh gosh, I already miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. One, two, three, four, five. What was it? Ten, five, right? Ten, five, fifteen. Gosh, I already forgot. Ten, five. Oh, ten, fifteen, five. Oh gosh. Yeah, I already messed up. All right, well, this was 10, right? So 11, 12. Uh, 13, 14, 15, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh. 13, 14. Wait, what about the name? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's got to be something here. Look at these. You see those? Wait, go back. All right. So those don't have the little things. These have little symbols. You notice that? Alright, so this, let's try these. So that has something antler type thing. These aren't it. Oh, gosh darn it. I was so positive I just figured this out. I thought they would be the same. Apparently not. Alright, there's gotta be a clue here somewhere. There's gotta be a clue to something. 
What are these? Second edition. Seven minutes in heaven. I ate my hand. Now what? Look, that's not how you spell eight. Oh, I think we're on to something. Ten ways. Yeah, I think we're on to something. Okay. So what was this again? 10, 15, 5, 25, right? So let's... Are these included with those? No, see like these are light blue, red, and like dark blue over here. So we have that 10, 15, 25 thing, right? So let's try to see if we can find numbers. So that would start with the one that said 10, right? Well, let's try to find everything else first. Killer's dozen, that's 12, that's 11. Pentagon, that's five, six, seven. Okay, so that goes all the way to 10, by the way. I don't know if anyone noticed it. Notice that. 11 monkey, a killer's dozen for one. One, two, three. Okay, well, all right. Let's check our inventory then. How about that? No, I can't check my inventory. It's I, isn't it? I. No, okay, well, I can't check my inventory. Great, that's what I wanted to hear. Do I have to zoom out maybe? Nope, just can't check it at all. No way to open that, huh? You already read by the shore. Man, I totally thought I was onto something here. There's that creepy thing there. But I'm not sure what that's really gonna do for us. Doesn't seem like it would do much. 10, 5, 15. See, these look like they're, like they would be for something. 10, 15, 5, 25. They could just be, you know, quarters and stuff, and that's just what it's calling, but it just, it looks like it would be something. They're probably just coins, but still. It looks suspicious. Man, I am so stuck on this, man. Where? Hmm. They said the clock was stuck on 12 here, right? Is that a hint? What if I did this? What if I said a killer's dozen? That clicked something. That sounded like a click. Nope, that's just a click. I'm gonna have to figure this out manually. This is a click, obviously. There's a click. Okay, it's not that. Hmm. That's 12. Am I supposed to click it with something up here? Oh man, didn't I hear one of these click? Oh, there's another one. Those are like the last ones. That one and what, one of these? Alright, I need to find one that clicks. Alright. Ooh, none of those clicked whatsoever. Wait, does it have to be in order? Oh my gosh. It would have to be in order. Oh, you know how long this is going to take. Alright, by luck we happen to find that. These two. Now we just have to find which one of these would do it. Oh, I did it! What'd I do? 
Oh, we opened the whole thing. Oh my gosh. It's the promised land. Ah, the old secret door of the bookcase. I knew there was more to this room. Let's find out what real secrets you've been hiding. Oh gosh. Jenny hesitated at the doorway. What secrets would she find? And which she would, would she discover about him? As she quashed the threshold, she knew there was no turning back. Why do I feel like this is like a little girl who's exploring her dad's, like, uh, study? I could be wrong, but that'd be amazing if it was a twist like that. Ooh. What is all this? Home security gone crazy? And how does it all fit behind the bookcase? It looks like someone was just here. It does, that it does. Ooh, what is this? That recording device looks really expensive. The wires run over to those monitors. Whatever it's recording, it can't be good. I agree. I've never seen a lock like this. I wonder what kind of key it takes. This house only has two floors. So why does the elevator have so many more? And where does it go? Oh, Jenny. Oh, Jenny, what are we about to watch here? What are all these screens for? That coffee is still warm. Uh-oh. Complexity of the controls overwhelmed, Jenny. How could a little girl possibly navigate such an elaborate system? There are two buttons and a joystick. I'll figure it out. Hey, is that the front door? Headless body found by the lake. Great. There's a raccoon there. Oh god. Five nights at raccoon. Wait, are those... Oh my god, that's a foot and that's a hand. This looks like a graveyard. Symmetry. Oh, it says it right there. He's got cameras all over Opterton. It doesn't make any sense. You're telling me. Okay. So move this way. Do not push. I'm not going to push the other button. Looks like a video going out of town or coming into town. This is like a museum. Oh man. It's a scene from Jurassic World. Uh oh. Something's been broken into. Another user is taking control. Oh gosh. Holy god, Jenny, get out of there. Jenny, run! Jenny! Jimmy! No! We hope you enjoyed this placement teaser. You gave me a panic attack. Please consider supporting our tiny team by promoting at genuineclue.com. Joe and Team LeClue. Great teaser. Like, no lie, that was actually a really great teaser. Oh, gosh. There's his voice. Enthusiast, wildlife Dental Society member and author of Jenny the Clue. The greatest choose your own adventure novel series in the world. And now I want you to help me write her biggest adventure yet. Jenny the Clue, Detective Rule, an interactive adventure game where you control the story. Hey, you're not supposed to see that yet. Spoiler alert. As I was saying. We'll explore the town of Arthurton, a world rich with characters like Jenny the Clue. When her mother is accused of murder, Jenny takes on the case of her life, and soon she discovers nothing is what it seems. 
choose your own adventure game. With choosiness on a massive scale. Crack the case. Save your family. Unearth Arvidin's dark secrets. Oh my god. What a way to end this playable teaser, everyone. Thank you for watching. This is actually a game that I think I'm going to pick up. It looks really interesting, and I actually legit want to see, like, where is this going to go? <laughs> I'm already drawn in. Uh, some people may be a little salty about this, but I, I enjoyed Broken Age. I think the ending was rushed, and... It, was actually rushed we know where that went but this game gives me the vibe and i'm hoping it goes to kind of a satisfying ending Look, the playable teaser as you can see right here which you can go download at their website jenny.co.com and you can download it and you can explore things as you see i kind of guessed the bookshelf code but what if there was something else as you could tell that first red uh that first um dark blue book that I pulled had a click right but had I not clicked those in a row had I not clicked that one first the other two books that I pulled did not click at all so that means is there more combinations would I have unlocked a safe would I have been able to build that entire paper that we had the one of five clues there's so much stuff that could be played in that demo that I didn't even get to so I would ex I would implore anybody if you really enjoyed this and you want to check it out yourself by all means, go see if you can find something that I didn't. Relay it to me in the comments. I might actually just replay this in a little bit to see if I find something that I didn't. And I'm actually super excited for this game to come out. I can't wait. Uh, gosh, devs. This this is great. I like this. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, man. Anyways, anyways, again, guys, please just go check it out. And if it is something you want to support, support them. They are an indie developer team. And... This looks amazing. As you see, many platforms is going to be available on. Ooh. Disclaimer, in case anyone's wondering, like, you are super excited about this. Devs didn't contact me. I didn't contact them. I, I had no idea who they are. I have no idea what this game was until I opened it and started playing. I didn't even know it was a point and click. I thought it was a platformer. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, I'm drawn in, though. I can't wait. So thanks for watching, everyone, again for the third time. I hope you have a great day. And... Go check out Janine LeClue.